Hey, 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 traders. So, today was one of those days. Friday. I don't know why. Friday's always, well, not always, but a lot of the time, Fridays, they just ruin my week. Yeah. I had a good week. I still made money this week, but let's review all the trades. Now, um, <clears throat> one of the reasons why I am have decided to kind of change me showing you how much money I make is because I find that there are a lot of educators out there they just show you the good trades they don't show you when they lose money so if I show you trades that are posted real time in stock twits well you can go and check them for yourself because they're time stamped and I can't leave out losing trades because you can say, hey, what happened to that trade, right? So let's talk about today's trades because that's exactly what happened. I had a losing trade today. And um, I can't hide it because it's right here. It's time stamped, right? Where other educators, they love to hide things from you and only show you the good trades. Nah, homie don't play that. Okay, so... Um, Started off this morning, you can see December 8th, um, short VRX at 1853, small size, but want to build a position, okay, so that was at 10.08, then later on, um, I added to the trade as outlined, building a short position. My average cost was 18.72 at 10.38. Uh, I also will talk about the TXN trade in a second. I also short TXN at 98.70 at 10.46. Again, this is all here, guys. It's time stamped. Okay, now. So, BRX doesn't look like it will drop today, but Monday and Tuesday is another story. Happy to hold us into the week. Now, ultimately, I decided that I got, I just hit my max loss. Wah, 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 wah. Stopped out max loss, BRX. So, all time stamped, all here, not like another educator that just shows you the good stuff and doesn't show you the bad stuff, okay? So let's go through and take a look at VRX. Now, <clears throat> VRX, my students will say, Steve, what the hell are you doing shorting that? Right? Well, <laughs> I short it right here, to be very honest with you, at the very beginning, around 1030, somewhere in here, right? This is where my first short was. And, um, oh, one second. Sorry, I had to sneeze there. Hopefully I took that off the mic. And, um, why? Well, I'm not going to teach you exactly why, but my students will know if you time up on this thing, you'll know why this level is so so good it's a phenomenal phenomenal level I mean this do this company's dog shit now um, the trade didn't work out right and but I had planned on adding to the trade and the main reason is is because there was a upgrade on this stock today but there are still massive lawsuits against this company massive lawsuits and that is going to push this stock back down. Um, I will reshort this again, just not today, because I hit my max loss of 2% on the trade. I actually added to the trade here um, and ended up taking a lot of heat. I put a stop loss at 1950. It looked like I was going to actually recover, and then boom, up she went, and that was all the fat lady had to sing. So, um, in hindsight, my students will say, Steve, what the hell are you doing? This was nothing but a buy all day long. And you're right, right? For my students that are watching, you are absolutely right. But on a larger time frame, this is an easy short. And sometimes that's one of the, uh, the trade-offs we have to do 
when we are trying to time our way in to swing trades. If I would have got this trade right, um, I would have had, well, I knew my average cost was going to be around uh, 1870-ish, and my stop loss was 1950, so I was going to have about a 70 cent uh, uh, stop on this, but my target on the daily was going to be huge. I, I was looking for, I was approximately a 70 cent target. I was looking for 14, 13.75. So, you know, nine dollars worth of profit, or sorry, six dollars worth of profit, 70 cents worth of risk. Good trade. Trade didn't work. But, like I said, I'm the only educator out there that shows you the good, the bad, and the ugly. And it's timestamped. That's why I'm not showing anything. Now, let's move on to the next trade that I posted in Stock Twits. It's all there. Go take a look. TXN, baby! Yeah! Now, this one, I'm, a, I'm actually going to just take this off here. Save the day. Okay? Save the day. So, if you go and look on Stock Twits... You can see that TXN, I'm going to actually post it right now. I actually took it off before I started this video, but um, I'm going to post it right now. I just forgot to do it there. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to post this right now. TXN, yeah. You can see TXN short at 10.46, 89.70, and I added to the trade. I added to the trade. So closing this whole position. Oh. Closing this whole position for a 1.5% profit. There you have it. Okay. So, those are all the trades there. They're all timestamped, folks. Unlike other educators, you can just go and check my posts. You can see what I write, and it's all there. I can't hide anything here. I can't only show you good trades and not the bad trades. I got to show you everything the way that it is. So, net loss on a day is about a half a percent. But, hey, you know... I'm going to take another crack at VRX because I do think that um, this is just a temporary pop. This is a dog shit stock. Lots of lawsuits against the company, and uh, it's not going anywhere. Maybe a little bit higher, but ultimately uh, this level on the larger time frame is a great area to short. So hope you guys enjoyed that. Hope you guys like the new way I'm doing things where I'm not talking about how much money I'm making. I'm just showing you timestamp trades you can go and double check them you can see hey is this for real uh, or is this guy only showing me his good trades and not showing me his bad trades there you have it hope you enjoy it i'm the only educator out there that gives it to you straight thank you and bye for now